Hello, everybody. Riles and Marcus and... <laughs> Hello. What the heck was that? Hell, David. So- Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, that was D Benitez 87 That's I'm joined me. also by Marcus and uh, whatever the fuck your name is. And my name is Riles, and we're here doing a tip in Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Bane. I'm going to call this the fast travel tip. Fast travel. Yes. Maybe the delivery point tip. One of those two. Okay. I'll so, uh, make up my mind. So this game is game of the year, right? Uh, so far, it's between this and Witcher 3, but I think this is uh, edging edging Witcher out right now. It's, I'm having such a blast with this game. There's more games to come in November. Incredible. Don't. That's true. We've, we've got a lot on the horizon, but uh, as of now, I am loving the fuck out of this game. Now, uh, gentlemen, I don't know if... I'd, actually, I do know. Both of you haven't played this game, but I'm I sure you're aware of how large the uh, playable area is in this game. It's, it's very, pretty damn it's a, huge. It's a big map. Yep. First yeah. open world Metal Gear Solid. Woo! Yeah, and That's they went true. all out on it, let me tell you. Now, uh, generally, the to tra- traverse the uh, terrain, you can, I mean, you can, like, hop on the back of your horse, but that takes forever if you want to get from point A to point B. Uh, and so what a lot of people do is uh, they'll take, uh, they'll call in a helicopter to pick them up, and then the helicopter can take you all across the map, and that's generally the quickest way to get places. Right. However, I've discovered something really cool, and now, if you already knew about this, good for you, but uh, I didn't, most of my friends that are playing this didn't know about it, and so this tip is just for anybody who's unaware. Yeah, so shut this, up, uh, you two cool commenters. Thing. Thank you, David, thank you. You didn't so, find um, it first, you're just copying <laughs> blank. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, we're going to get those comments, no, it's sure. inevitable, but, uh, um, so yeah, you guys know about the cardboard box in this game, everybody does. Of course, it's, uh, classic. It's iconic, very it's iconic staple for equipment. Snake. Or big yeah, boss, it's whatever a, that is. <laughs> you know, it's generally used for just all stealthy infiltration and sneaky antics and whatnot. Um, however, uh, in most of the larger bases in uh, Afghanistan and Africa, um, there's these little uh, orange platforms that you'll find. Uh, I think there's 12 in Afghanistan, and if I'm not mistaken, 9 in Africa. Okay. Uh, so these little orange platforms right here um, are actually delivery points. Yep, they're and orange. And you'll see next to them, uh, you'll see an invoice posted on a little stick or whatever. And if you go and collect those invoices, you can then use that delivery point uh, as a fast travel point. Hmm. And so the way it works is you, as long as you have an alerted, uh, if the base isn't on alert, then you can get onto that point and onto the, the de- delivery point thing. And you can get onto your cardboard box and then uh, an option pops up to fast travel. And then you can fast travel between all of the different delivery points as long as you've collected the invoices from each one. That seems pretty, pretty handy. Pretty cool. So basically pretty you're being transported cool. in a cardboard box. Yeah, yeah, a truck places. comes up and just delivers you. They, like, FedEx your ass uh, <laughs> wherever you choose to go. It's amazing. So what's faster? Is, it, is the cardboard box faster or the helicopter faster? Uh, the cardboard box. Nice. Definitely, because with the helicopter, you have to wait for the helicopter to come pick you up. You have to get in it. Uh, it takes off, and then it takes a little while for, you, for like, the door to close and for it to, like, go into the loading screen. Right. And then you have to, like, there's an animation. you got to pick where you want to go. Then you have to, once again, there's an animation that drops you off, and then you have to wait until it actually lets you hop out. And it's this whole long process. And so um, the cardboard box is the way to go. The only uh, thing that uh, gives the helicopter the advantage is there's more uh, locations that you can select with the okay. helicopter okay but uh but if you're going just if you just want to get from one general area to the uh, to another one uh i highly recommend doing this it's uh really useful and uh yeah once again this tip is just for anybody who didn't know about this because i didn't and uh that's about it okay well, hold on before are you go, impressed before we go yes. i have a practical question go for what it what if they pick up the box snake is inside and he didn't tape the box properly and it just opens up it, i got that answer snake shoots yeah, him go in for the it. face there you go. Nope, and then nope, he nailed it. it. And then he just place. says, "I'm sorry." <laughs> and, th- and then he says, "You just got snaked," and slithers away like. <laughs> <laughs> I figured he would ride off into the sunset on his one-eyed horse, but ah, uh, that works too. <laughs> oh, one-eyed horse. horse. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for passion. joining us. Shut the fuck up, Marcus. We'll see you later. Bye.